We're now going to talk a little bit about your position and your timing under saddle at speed. Now, if you look back on the times that you probably were the most unconfident around your horse, it was probably when things were going fast, whether it be on the ground or under saddle. Now, a lot of times people want to try to avoid that with their horse, and I can completely understand that, but the problem is, is things are going to get fast no matter what you do, and to me it's best to just be prepared for those things when they come across. So, the best thing you can do is get ahead of that speed and work on it before it comes to you. So, where our rollback drill is pretty handy is that helps to get you out ahead of that a little bit with your horse. Now you can do this in a confined area, but I'm going to talk about some positioning here with your body and your seat okay, as you're loping around. So I'm going to go ahead and get this horse kind of loped off. As we're going around here, I'm going to talk a little bit about a few things here. Now what people tend to do is I'll lock my legs here, my thighs and my knees. And what that's going to do See, is it kind of gets my body bouncing a little bit and then he's probably going to go off course a little as I'm not guiding him properly and then I might get out here and then I might have to sit down and then he might slow down and then I'll end up kicking him and things just get real awkward there so what you want to try to do is unlock your hips and at the canter you want to push forward and let your pelvis kind of rock forward and backwards on this horse a little bit and push. I'll exaggerate this. Really push. Open your legs up a little bit and push with your hips. Just kind of let things roll. Now, if you need to, you can just put both reins here in one hand and then you can grab this horn just lightly and kind of help balance yourself a little bit and push this horse around here on this circle. Now this can be a little tricky for people at first, but it's good to practice these things. Now, the other thing that kind of gets people a little worried and gets them to come off their horses is these turns, and that's where this rollback drill is pretty important. So I might go ahead, just offer them up here, oh, and then I'm gonna turn and go. So I'll do a nice slow one there. Now, once I get this motion going, I could pick up on two hands here and get this horse more centered up underneath me. 